Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's Papa, and I'm here at YBM, my local game store here in Colton, California. And they were so generous to let me open up a brand new box of Burst of Destiny for you guys to enjoy. So, a uh, little shout out goes to them, of course. Uh, they're the ones giving me the box. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the box. So, a lot of key cards that are in this set that we're looking for is uh, the new Hero Destroyer. I don't actually know his name. Pen or Phoenix Enforcer. That's the name. Uh, so we're looking for him. Uh, we're also looking for the Lord of the Lightning Sky, or Lord of Heavenly Sky. That card is broken in Eldritch, and I really need three of those, so we're gonna try and get one of those today. But, geez, I'm a little rusty. Uh, 24 packs, we'll go ahead and just take them out. So, starting off, pack number one, Burst of Destiny. Uh, a lot of good cards in this set too are like the Ecclesia, that's a really good card to get in this pack. And then, um, Small World is another card that's probably going to change the game if someone can break it. Uh, first Super Rare, and this is also a brand new archetype. We got the Flawanderies and Robin. Uh, card's broken. This is a really cool archetype out of the new set. Uh, commons we don't really care for, as always. So again, we're looking for Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer, and then we're looking for Lord of the Lightning Sky. Uh, one of these... Oh, there we go. Cool. So we got another Flunderies card. We got Flunderies and the Magnificent Map. I think that's like one of their like big searchers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll put like Ultras and stuff here. Supers aren't really too notable, unless they're brand new. Uh, so we're looking for all those cards and more Flunderies cards would actually be pretty good. I know the Sword Soul stuff are in here as well. Uh, this Keeper, Penguin Squire. This is a really cool card as well. Uh, Flunderies Tacoon and a Bayonet Punisher. Don't really know what this is. I think it's for... What is it for? Boral. Okay, so it's bad. So... Sorry, that's not a real deck. Let's see. Next pack, I've already washed dry. This is a really cool card, actually. This card's kind of funny. Uh, that, that, and a Reptilian Melusian. I don't know if that's actually how you Is that the dog? Aw. Oh. We're also looking for the, the new common dog card. I want every copy of those in the world. It's the coolest card ever. Let's see. Uh, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, Cynet Critswords, Cynet Cascade, and a Branded in High Spirit. I think this is a new dog. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, a new Fallen of Alves card, so that's kind of cool that they get more support there. Uh, a little upset because we actually haven't gotten one of the dogs yet. I think it's Outstanding Dog Mary that we're looking for, and I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, Tawanja, that, that, and oh, there we go. So Sword Soul Ataya, this is one of the new cards that come out in this set, a uh, new archetype. Uh, we did get the Iris Sword Soul in one of the previous sets, but this is like just more of like their actual archetype now. So that's really cool to have. Uh, still no dog. <laughs> Usually I just skip forward the commons. I've never been so excited for a common in a core set other than that one. Uh, Magic Heat Battle, Sonic Tracker, Night Flight, Apex Foundation, and a Ultimate Flagship, Your Urstron. I don't know. Not, not the dog. Still no dog. Also, there's a lot of cool penguin support in this set too. It's not going to be a good deck, but you know, all you rogue players. I know a few at home. That love penguins. Uh, this, that, that, and a heavy interlock. This is, I believe, it's the ritual, right? Yeah, it's the ritual for the Boral of archetype. So, not good. But it's still like cool to see new support for like all these older archetypes. But we're mainly looking for the newer archetypes because this set is supposed to change the format. And hopefully, I just don't have to see another Tri Brigade player again. Uh, Starfall, Sword Soul, Penguin Squire, and a Sunvine Sewing. Uh, this is for... Jeez. Oh, it's a plant card. Okay, so eventually it'll probably get broken, but as of now, it's not. So we have one Ultra so far. We got two packs left on one of the sides of the boxes. Um, again, we haven't got a Secret Rare, and uh, we're looking for Lightning Sky and Enforcer. Not that. Okay, so Ice Jade Cradle, cool card nonetheless. Oh, this is also another cool card in this set, Cupid Pitch. Surprised that this didn't get a hollow, 
but um, this card's actually really good for the upcoming format too. It's really broken with the new Synchron deck, uh, just being a level four tuner, it's insane. But I'm just gonna put it in the comments for now because there's probably gonna be more. Uh, next pack, still looking for one more Ultra, one more Secret on this side. Uh, we got Flip Frozen, Sonic Tracker, Flow Wonderies, Abyss Keeper, and a Flow Wonderies and the Dreaming Town. So this is a really good card for their archetype. Uh, I believe it's a pop if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's a Book of Moon, but it, it's basically like a Conductor Tyranno for their archetype. So that's pretty cool. And there's definitely cards in the deck too that let it, you search that card, so it's broken. Uh, last pack on, I believe, that was the right side of the box. I'm not too sure. Uh, still no secret, unless this is a secret. Oh, this is probably better. Uh, oh, Jackpot. okay, cool. Yeah, I'm more excited about this, to be honest. But we pulled a small roll. That's a really cool pull to get. Um, if you haven't read this card, good luck, because this card is basically an essay that just doesn't get graded. This thing is off. Like, the text on this is awful. It's kind of like Inspector Border, but if you can break it, break a deck with that card, good luck, because I don't have the mindset or the time to, like, try and play that. But, cool. So far, we got one Secret, one Ultra. We're now going on to the next side of the box. Uh, Small World, not the best Secret to get, uh, just because of, like, its versatility and how... Uh, it's not really the best card in the set, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, Brandon and Red for our next super rare. I believe that's uh, for the Despio archetype. No dog. So we're at one dog so far. Uh, we'll try to get a play set for this box. Uh, there's also the chance of getting a Starlight rare. Uh, it's very slim, but uh, it's still like a possible outcome. Ooh. That's a really good card. Uh, Sword Soul, Sword Soul, Starly, Star, Goddamn, Sword Soul Strategist Long Yuan. So this card is there. Uh... Okay, so it burns. So basically, you can send this burn for time. That's a cool synergy, I guess. Uh, I'll read the rest of the cards later. I don't really want to read them right now. Uh, so now we're at two ultras, one secret. Uh, we're still looking for Enforcer, and we're looking for um, the Heavenly Sky. First, oh, I already skipped it. Uh, double Destruction Dragon, so another Rocket card. I uh, don't really know if they're going to play this, because it's not really that good. But, oh, and another Keep the Pitch. Uh, we've basically seen all the commons now, and the commons aren't really too noteworthy. We're probably going to start duplicating Super here soon, so I'm just going to speed through it just a little bit. Predation, this, that, and Stained Glass of Light and Dark. So uh, I think this is also another... Oh, I'm just wrong. This isn't an archetype card at all. Still only one dog. Not happy about that. But it's not my box, so we're good. Uh, Prediction, Colt, Rebuilder, Sonic Tracker, and... Oh, okay. Uh, so another secret rare, we got Flow Wanderies and Snow, Snow Owl, Snow, Snow. So once per turn while you control the tribute summon card, you cannot, or you can conduct up to three normal summon or sets this turn. And it says comma, not just one. Just in case you were confused. So, all the tribute card is in the monster zone. If your monster attacks a defense monster, monster and okay, it does piercing. And quick effect, you can banish one card from your hand, change all special summon monsters you control. Wow. So I think these are all just freaking Conductor Tyrannos because this also has the quick effect to put everything face down. That's kind of scary, but I'm playing Eldritch, so it's like, uh, it's like, nah, you can't put my trap face down. That's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, well, now I'm scared because I think there's people playing that today. Yo, we winning. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tanaja, everything else is probably just going to be commons, maybe two more ultras. Uh, so I'm just basically going to speed through these packs. Didn't get either of the secret rares we're looking for, unless we pull like a god box or something. Dio's never gonna let me open. Oh! Dio's never gonna let me open packs for his, for my channel again, after my really bad luck of opening cards. Uh, let's see, we got five packs left. Still missing two ultra rares. Uh, we got all our secrets. What's up? No. It's okay. Uh, man eater bug. Uh, that's that, and oh, okay, cool. So we got a Sword Soul Emergence. We got a lot of Sword Soul cards. Uh, add one Sword Soul Monster from your deck to your hand, or if you control a Synchro Monster, you can add one Worm Monster instead. So that's broken, because it adds just any Worm Monster, so that's like really good for the archetypes. Um, 
You can target one sword soul monster in your or worm monster you control, increase or decrease its levels until the end of this turn. So that's broken. So it's like a rota and then it's also a, like a level eater. So you just being able to conduct secret plays with this card was pretty insane actually. I haven't really read all these sword soul cards, so all of these are just kind of foreign to me. But we did get our place at a dog and that's really what's most important. I'm so glad I didn't buy those boxes. <laughs> Uh, Magic Key Battle, Abyss Keeper, Sinai Cascade, Ice Shade, and another Scary C. Let's see, three packs left. We're still missing one Ultra. The real MVP. That's the real MVP of this opening, it's three dogs. I mean, a fourth one would be ideal, but I mean, I've already got my play size, so I can't complain. Okay, another uh, Flundery's. Oh, wait, actually, I don't think we've gotten that one yet. Yeah, Flundery's Eagle. That's pretty cool. Two packs left. Okay, uh, Gizmag, DD Assault, another Man Eater Bug, Circle, and Reptilian Replacements. So ideally we have one more Ultra to get, so hopefully it's in this pack. If not, this is probably a bust. But again, this box was kindly donated to the channel. So, Night Flight, Predation, Circle, it's broken. And then last is a, ah, uh, nope, only three ultra rares. But we got a Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Uh, target one Sword Soul monster in your graveyard, or if you control a Synchro monster, you can target one monster instead, so summon it. So it's a monster reborn. And if it's banished, you can target one Sword Soul monster or one monster you control, increase or decrease. Okay, so basically another level leader, but it's cool. It's an in archetype monster reborn. But yeah, guys, that's gonna actually go ahead and do it. Uh, big shout out again goes to YBM for letting me open the box for the channel. Uh, shout out to Tommy behind the camera. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, how's it going? Let's see the dogs.